Hello everybody. When I was growing up, I was very fond of the Anthony Gatto five club routine. Now this was a routine where he juggled five clubs, he did a three up 360, a three up 180, five back crosses from the right, five back crosses from the left, and then 20, that fluctuated. It was between 15 and 20, but I think the routine I remember seeing for the first time was 20 back crosses from both hands, uh, all in doubles of course. Uh, and then another three up 180 and then a weird little tuck underneath the arm and 360 thingy for the end. There are very few jugglers today that I think that could perform it uh, at least as well, but really at all. Uh, but in practice, it is possible with a lot of patience and um, uh, storage space. So uh, today I'm going to embark upon the training for this routine. I only intend to perform it for video. I don't believe it'll ever happen on stage. I might prove myself wrong, doubtful, but uh, let's not limit ourselves anyway. So we're gonna start with three club doubles. The problem with this is that the doubles have to be really floaty, really floaty doubles. So they have to go really high and spin really slow, uh, which is hard for me to do for some reason. I used to think it was the type of club that I was using. It's not, it's the way you throw it. Uh, Doug does it really well. Pretty much everyone who does back crosses these days does that really well, uh, except me. So I've got to step up my back cross game. <laughs> she, I guess she's doing laps. <laughs> All right, floaty back cross. My back crosses are horrible when I'm not warmed up. By the way, see that? My left hand gets really, really clingy. It doesn't know when to let go. So, just one at a time. And I think part of the trick is visualizing pointing the end of the club, like, kind of way over there. I wasn't trying to catch that one. And, uh, you know, get it to the outside of your shoulder and then up. Here, maybe I'm gonna do this from behind. Maybe I can coach myself. And keep it out there. Don't let it come toward the center because you gotta make another one from out here. So just keep it where you gotta make the next throw. Because if it's too narrow, then you gotta go out here and then start again, and that's just crap. Floaty, floaty, float. No floated into the middle. Yeah. Two, ah. Uh. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're doing laps. It's weird. I think she actually waited for me to stop talking to the camera so she could cross. I don't know what that's about. But hey, we're all working on different things here today. Okay, I'm getting impatient. See how that backfires? Okay. Oh, shit. that was all crap. Oh, I'm not gonna do this whole video with my back to you, though. Okay, so float, 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 and lap number three. Float, 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 float. So how high can I get them while keeping them doubles and not have to reach up to catch them. And these have to be placed perfectly because once I got five going, there is almost no time to reposition. This height would probably work for five. But, you know, you wanna make sure, especially, I'll do this from the side, which, whoops. I don't think I need the fuzzy thing. from the side, which worries me because oftentimes back crosses are crooked from this side. So the first thing I'm gonna look at when I watch this video is how flat these back crosses are. So the flatter, the better. This is all crap. All right, maybe one at a time. One. Eh, no good. Uh, uh. Uh, 
Okay. And yes, they have to be doubles. I'm not going to do the. I'm not going to do a version in triples because that is not the Anthony Gatto routine. His routine is specifically in doubles. That's what I'm going to train to do. So I hope these are not that crooked. I won't. They don't look crooked from here. I won't know till later. Okay. All right. So then, of course, I should probably work on a flash. You know, the old one, two, three. Yeah. Now I'm forced to make correct throws faster. I don't have as much time to think about it. But thinking about having not a lot of time gives me more time because I mentally prepare the technique in my brain before I have to do it. Nope. Nope, nope. That's something. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what that looks like on the side. I don't think that's high enough though. I need higher, floatier. Oh, too, too much. Ah. Ah. No, 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 gotta think, think, think. Oh, that's better, yeah. Still got to think about it. Too narrow. That was good. Let's see if I'm... John Brady. John Brady could probably do this routine pretty easily. Well, I don't know about easily, but he's got some of the best five club back crosses in doubles and triples. I think his doubles are probably better than his triples. In case you are wondering, these are Flow Toy Vision Clubs. Whoa, <laughs> not juggled five clubs today. Actually, I haven't juggled five clubs since I did that somnolent juggling video. So here's what a crappy five club pattern looks like and how it slowly morphs into a more manageable one. I'm leaving this in just because I know how much joy it'll bring Vova. He loves watching crapping, what? He loves watching crappy juggling uh, done by me. All right, you know, just get the rust out. Yeah. You may be asking, well, how come you're not working on your, uh, how come you're not working on your back crosses with four clubs first? Very good point. Uh, let's let's see how bad it is with five, and if I need to go back to four, then I will. Just looking at my five clubs, it looks like I need to go back to four just before I go to five basic clubs. But I just gotta warm it up a little bit. It'll be fine, don't you worry about it. I'm not dropping them. Uh, it's just not the most relaxed. Oh, there we go, that's a little better. All right. We're going for one back cross in doubles, the same height 
as all the other throws. Oftentimes a double will be lower because it's only a double and it's behind the back. Diablo interference. <laughs> it was way the heck out of I'm not taking responsibility for that drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm blaming the Diablo. Not, not you, just the Diablo. I didn't even see the Diablo. I mean, it was on the ground. How could I? All right. No. Oh. <laughs> I love juggling. I don't think I'm even going to edit this video. It's just going to be whatever happens. It's like you came with me. You can't edit your experience with me if you hung out. So, why should I deprive you of every single second? So, why should I deprive you of... So, why should I deprive you of any... Jesus fucking Christ. Did you just hit that fucking thing over my head? <laughs> oh. He's confident. I'm gonna throw a back cross around his mouth. All right, let's see. There's one. That's from the right. Nice and stable. And now, wait for it, because I have to. Jesus, where am I going? Stop moving your feet. Oh my God, it's only gonna get worse. All right. Ugh. Touched it. Touch is as good as a drop. Wait, as good as a catch. Not when you drop. I'm still tired from that endurance run a week ago. <laughs> five from the right, five from the left, and then 20. Place your votes now. How many months do you think it's going to take for me to get that? Oh, Jesus. Too much spin every time. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Too much spin every time. From my angle, it looked perfect, so I don't know. You think too much spin? So do less spin is what you're suggesting. Less spin. I'll go for a single. Still too much? It's the left hand, he's not going to listen to you. Oh, I'm starting to remember, yeah. The idea is to just move your arm just gotta move your arm behind your back and try not try to spin it because it's gonna spin anyway. Especially when it's just a double. Sound advice. No, that is crooked. It's crooked and spinning too fast. But it's only the first day. I give myself six months. It's not going to be very exciting tonight. I'll still try to do five, though. Just to see what my flash looks like. It's, I'm doing it, but I'm, it's probably not high enough. There, it's the right height, too much spin. Let's see what this looks like from behind. Ah.
No, it's all wrist. I need to get the arm in there. A little better. It's the kind of thing you kind of have to do every day. Okay, I'm going to try to loop one together. Same one from the right will turn into the left because you have to do that at the end of the first five. The last one of the first five turns into the first one of the... Um, wow, it came back to me. Yes. And I didn't expect that. I would have picked it up. Well, you know what I mean. Looping it. Yep, that's, that's a down and dirty version of it. Ugh, no, it's too narrow. Oh, jeez. As bad as this is, I could probably get 20 back crosses and doubles tonight, but it'd be real crappy looking. So I don't think I should even try that. Because that's not the version of this. I almost have to relearn it a little bit. I'm going to start from the left. Oh. Ah. I'm going to turn the 360 version of this on in case you want to follow her all the way around to see when she's coming. Oops. Ah. Right, left. Hey, that was something. That was something, just in time. <sighs> Didn't feel like that much time had passed. I'm gonna take a break. My prediction is I'll be better after I rest. Well, always go back to five to make sure that that's no problems there, you know? Well, yeah, I always end on my right hand, so I've been going like six to eight. As long as you don't ever wanna end on your left hand, it's up to you. Why did that one turn off? Okay. I've rested a couple of minutes. Let's see if that helped. Oh, this feels better. It does feel better. Still need to get that out to the side. It's starting to feel like it used to which still was not great. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens if I loop it. Ah, too low. Yeah. Get it up there. I'm practicing the right too much. Let me just start these from the left. Oops. It's a little fast. Okay. I'm going to try three from the right. You know, doing back crosses from one side and from the other side, that's two different tricks. That has almost nothing to do with doing both hands at the same time. It does a little bit, but they're all different. Just because you can do both hands at the same time doesn't mean you can do just one hand. Because you have to, the basic throw becomes a trick. You know, a lot of people will start turning in the direction of the back cross, so you have to always reinforce bringing the non-back crossing hand back to the center and keeping it straight up in front of you. The back cross has to come right over here so that you can just bring it from here to here and you're not pulling it in from way out to the side. I will demonstrate every single version of what I just uh, described, I'm, I'm pretty sure. All right, so three throws from the right. One, two, 
three. Whoop. Ah. All right, rather than trying that again from the right and over practicing the right, I'm gonna try one from the left. Whether successful or not, I'm just gonna keep alternating. One, two, ah. Well, I could do that one again. You can't practice the left enough. It'll never catch up to the right, so I think I'm okay over practicing the less dominant hand. Uh, you know what helps is thinking that the trick starts the throw before the back cross. So your last basic throw in front before you make the back cross, think about that as starting the one-handed back cross trick and just lining that up uh, for a back cross. I mean, it should be the same, but thinking about it that way is felt a little different. Like if you're gonna count, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. I don't know why I went up to seven, but that's what I was counting. Go one, two, three, four, five. See, that's, that's a lot better just thinking of it that way. Let's see if it works on the other side. Because now it becomes a dominant hand start. If I'm thinking about the first right hand throw of the left hand back cross on one side as starting the trick, now I'm starting with the dominant hand. So thinking about the last left hand basic throw before the right hand back cross. I'm not sure how that'll affect me. You are here to witness that for the first time. It was good, it was good, I liked it, it was good. It worked well. Let's try that again. Oh, that's the left hand, why am I still going? Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, that was crap. That was crooked. All right, so right now, I think just three. Three throws is what I should be practicing. Five, it gets a little, little wonky. So three good ones from the right, three from the left. Maybe try to connect those. So if I go, wait. Ah. One, two, three. And then <laughs> try to loop that last one. I'll start from the left this time. Will I? Okay. One, two, three. Ah. I'll start from the left again. One. No, no, no. Everybody's too fast. One, two, three. Ah, no. <laughs> uh. And they're probably way too low. One, two, three. That's probably not a good idea to try to loop it today. <clears throat> All right, I think I need a break. And then it should get a little better. Eight. See? Just fixing one little thing, usually at the beginning. Because if it falls apart, it's because of something that happened several throws before. Usually. How does this, oh, there we go. All right, three and three. Well, that was three, and then the other three. Hey, that looked all right. Yeah, the other thing about thinking about the, the last basic throw before the back cross as part of the trick is a lot of people, myself included, will be thinking more about the back cross and not follow through on that last basic throw, and the basic throw will end up being lower, and then you'll be rushed, and then everything will just fall apart. So really, send it up there, and then, yeah, send up that last throw. Make sure it's the exact same as the other ones, and then you have as much time as possible for all these back cross throws. Whoops, a little low, very low. Ah, 
Got some angle issues there, but it's something to work on. I mean, there's something there to work with. Anything is something to work on. Just gotta keep it out to the side. A couple of more attempts to get them placed correctly. Boy, if anything will put someone to sleep, it'd be this video. Constant doing nothing. All right, out to the side. There we go. Oh, first two were good. Only have to be able to do five for the routine. You see how that last uh, basic throw before the back cross was a little bit lower on that one? Because I wasn't thinking of it. I was thinking too much of the future and not the present. You had to think about the present and the future and a little bit about the past. Otherwise you forget who you are. It was crooked, but they were high. <laughs> I don't know which I'd prefer, high and crooked or low and flat. Neither is ideal. No, too low, but flat. <laughs> oh. oh, this waste energy, but don't drop. Great, now I'm exhausted, but I didn't drop anything. I can't do any more. Ruined my wrist strength. All right, what am I doing? Well, maybe I'll try looping it now. Maybe that's gotten a little better. Oh, oh. oh geez. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aha, eat that. It's nothing to be proud of. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fix that. Yeah, all right. Oh, great. Time well spent. It's too low. I, I need to be focusing on the height. Need to get these throws at least the same height. The back cross is the same height as Ah, uh, the basic throws. But then, you know, you take a look around and you realize you're doing okay. There, I'll take that for today. When we come back, five club back crosses from both hands, right after this. Okay, five. <clears throat> perfect back crosses. Well, as perfect as they're gonna get today. And we'll, I'll do this from three different angles. Yeah, see those are overspun. Way, way overspun. Oh, and the last two are super crooked. Super crooked. Let me get the arm into it. I think they just hit each other. Ah. I think I need to start with a wider pattern. With the narrow pattern, I have to move them out here, so I need to start a little wider. I don't, I could never do that. But I will widen the pattern. Oh, okay, wait. None of this, none of this is good. Ah. I have gotten like 50 back crosses and doubles before, but it was crap. Start. Oh. I sure hope I get better at this, otherwise this video series is not going to uh, advance at all. <laughs> oh, jeez. Maybe I just got to think of them like triples that are 
like baby triples. Think like I'm throwing triples, but they're little babies. Little baby triples. Little babies. That actually helped a little bit. Baby triples. All right. Baby triples. Baby triples. Yeah, okay. You know, because I've done triples way more than I have doubles, so putting my mind in the frame of mind that I'm going to do triples and then just don't push as hard. I usually don't talk this much when I practice. All right, triples, psych. Instead, crooked doubles. Well, it comes and goes. No technique is gonna be flawless every time when you don't have the ability. But you can trick your mind a little bit sometimes. I saw that. I saw it. Doobie doobie doo. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's. I gotta start wider. That's what's messing up everything. You can get away with it with triples because you have more time. Problem is I don't practice a wide pattern, so I don't know how to do it. Something like, I mean, I, not that I don't know how to do it. It's just not my, my regular pattern. There, that was good. The, the back crosses were not, but the pattern before the back crosses was set up a little better. Let's take a look at this from behind. Yeah, it looks just as good as the front. Whoop, 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 yeah. <sighs> Let's do a crooked test. Let's see how crooked these are. Vova, you might want to go get a snack for this one. Check out this side while we're at it. By the way, if you're gonna eat peanut butter, uh, I've done a lot of research on this and I've found that probably the safest peanut butter to get is uh, organic peanut butter made from Valencia peanuts only. <sighs> I'm not going to explain why. No, there's just less of a chance of uh, mold in those peanuts because they're, they're, they're grown in a dry climate. Hey, oh God. So, so bad. So you get no uh, pesticides, you get no mold, you get no hydrogenated oil like in Jif. Oh, so let's see how Penn eats. He eats like half a jar of that. And he manages to balance, his, he manages to balance it on one spoon. He eats half a jar in one spoonful. 
All I can think of is the hydrogenated oils he's consuming and how there's very little peanuts in that peanut butter. It's all sugar and oil. Ah. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get today. So just five for today. Next, we'll see how the 360s and 180s are doing. So I can do these 360s fairly well. I should probably practice them anyway for this routine because what would really suck is if I got all the back crosses right and then I dropped on the 360, that would really annoy me. Whoop. And you can't, you can't do any fakes like that. You have to get, you have to commit to it and do it. And it all has to be perfect. So like that doesn't count. No stopping, no aborting and restarting. Even if you continue juggling, you got to throw them up, commit. I would not have accepted that either. Or that, overspinning everything. That's better. I would accept that, although, man, oh no, I wouldn't. I would not. And let's see how these 180s are doing. So it's a, it's a 360, then a 180. Then I have to go into the back crosses. Basically a total of 30 back crosses. Five right, five left, 20 together. Then one last 180. But I haven't done this 180 in a while. Oh, geez, that feels weird. Yeah. Don't you worry, I'm sure it'll come back to me. And I am turning the correct direction to the right. No, can't, cannot throw and turn at the same time. You know, it's one, two, three, then turn. One, two, three, and still, this is what I'm talking about. You gotta live in the present. You cannot think about turning while you're making that third throw. You've gotta think about just flashing all three up, then very quickly shift your attention to the, the 180, and then think back to juggling. So all I'm doing is a three up, just a three up. Now I'm turning, now I'm juggling. Now I'm dropping. <sighs> yes. Days like these, I wish I took up the kendama. Okay, so one, two, three. There we go, that's a little better. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'd rather see perfect throws than no catches than horrible throws and all catches. Jesus. I'm going for two good ones today. I mean, this is my first day back at practice after trying this, what, 20 years ago or something? I should work on five ups also to make the three ups easier. No, no, no. I mean, maybe that wasn't bad, I don't know. That's good, my turn is like, I feel like I'm just walking around and not really pivoting. But at least I'm separating that from the throws. So now I will try a more, the sharper turn. Jeez. Oh, Okie dokie. There. That was, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Just drop it. <laughs> that was okay, except my re-entry throw is horrible. It's, uh, I think it's low and underspun or something. So I'm getting a good setup of the, the three up. Now I just gotta re-enter better. 
I didn't like that one. And nobody liked that one. Especially the god of gravity. Okay. I think I've done one okay one. I'm going for one more. One more. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Overspun. I mean, I got it, but that would not have counted. Even if that was the last 180 of the whole sequence, that would have been upsetting. And we'll come to that at some point. And it will be very upsetting. We, might, we may not reach the end of this path. I think I'll accept that one for today. Oh, def ah, can't end on a bad one. All right, one more. One more. I will use my visualization trick. It didn't quite go over my head. I was kind of catching behind me. I will visualize the video of Anthony Gatto that I remember from when I was 11. I will play that in my head just before I do it. And it didn't work. Because I started thinking of that last throw. Or I started thinking of the turn, rather. Try it again, try it again. Picture the video. There we go, that was better. Ah, that was not. Nah, one more, one more. Ah. I'm okay with that one. Oh yeah, and here's the fancy ending. I think it was, <laughs> I don't know who came up with this. This one I should be able to get. Well, if I dropped on this after the whole sequence, <laughs> I would break a few of these clubs, I'm pretty sure. So this has to be fairly narrow. Wait, how do I, I gotta claw them or something? Like, why couldn't you just stop? Why do you have to tuck them under your arms? And then spin. Oh, it's like tuck to, wait, 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 wait. I'm saying wait, you don't have to wait. You're probably asleep already. <laughs> yeah. So, after getting that whole routine, if that last throw that I spin under is a two and a half instead of a three, I have to do the whole thing over again. The, the end of the routine anyway. <sighs> Just for good measure, I'm gonna throw in one five up 360. Because if I could do a version of this routine with all five ups, the five up 180, the five up 360s, <sighs> well, it's got room to grow, I guess. I think it's very possible I might have practiced five ups more than three ups kind of makes sense because they're harder. You would, you would have spent more time trying to get it.
on the cusp, the cusp of victory with the scent of defeat. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you son of a bitch. Now the old me would say that didn't count. I have to do it again. Guess I haven't changed much. That does not count. That would have. Don't you cross in front of me. All right, good. You're lucky I didn't get it. Levi Cho. What? Great. Now my videos will be banned in Russia. <sighs> Why? Why did you have to be underspun? That was not part of the arrangement. <laughs> Tripping over my own clown feet. The size 13, sometimes depending on the brand, 14. I think this, that's the smallest your feet can be and still be in the clown feet category. <laughs> you approve? <laughs> Decent. Good one. No, no, no. Stop it. Fix yourself. I have these ridiculous standards of perfection for video. But really, just for ending. If one's under spun, it doesn't count. It counts, but for what? For who? When and how? If I would deduct points for it, nope. Then it wouldn't count. Sure, fix it. Fix it, get everything back to harm harmony, and then drop for no reason. I'm not gonna waste any energy juggling this any longer than I have to. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you. Should have done this fancy ending. <laughs> okay. And that is the end of my first training for the Retro Anthony Gatto Five Club Routine. I gotta figure out a shorter name for the thumbnail. But uh, that's basically what I'm working on. This was the first practice session aimed at accomplishing that. I want you all now to guess how long you think it'll take for me to be able to perform this on video. Which means, you know, within five hours of getting it right once, if I'd even tried for five hours in a row, but you know what I mean. When will I be able to do this on video? One take all the way through. Let me know. That was, I was saying in the comments, I wasn't telling you to do anything to me. Okay, bye.